All right. Greetings, Earthlings, and happy Earth Day 2020. Uh, today, I wanted us to come together um, to celebrate Earth Day. This is the 50th anniversary of official Earth Day. Earth Day started in 1970. Um, and I wanted to do this drawing together as a way to still stay connected and show our support for Earth Day like we would have in our classroom. So what you will need is paper. It can be any size. Um, I'm going to start out by tracing my or by doing my drawing with a dark black marker. You could use a pencil if you are one of those people that likes to erase when you make a mistake. Um, I like to just go with it. And if I make a mistake, then I just make it into something else. So I'm just going to go bold and go with my marker. But you choose what you want to do. And then once we get our basic drawing done, we'll color it in. I'm going to use acrylic paint, um, just simple paint. Um, you could use crayons, you could use colored pencils, you could use markers, it all works amazing. Uh, whatever colors you have available. So I'm gonna make mine sort of realistic, but then maybe a little funky and switch up some colors for things. Um, so this is, remember, artwork and it is yours and you can express yourself however you want to. All right, so let's get started. Once you have your materials, um, we're gonna draw a circle for the earth. Okay, so thinking about if this is your whole paper, this is kind of the middle line. I'm gonna go over on the side of the middle and I'm gonna draw a circle. Okay, remember that it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so this is my globe or the earth. The next thing I am going to do is I'm going to draw half a little rectangle here. So I'm starting to draw the spigot or where water is going to come out. So just so you can visualize what we're doing, we're gonna have the earth, we're gonna draw some land, a heart in the middle, and we're gonna have a spigot here where water comes out of. And then we're gonna have like two hands reaching up to grab the water. Um, and this is gonna symbolize that the earth is giving us, right? Like the faucet gives you water, the earth is giving us the resources and things that we need to live. And we should take what we need and not more than we need. Um, we can talk more about the symbolism as we do our drawing. Okay, so once you have your little rectangle, um, we're gonna do go out, 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 curve down to start your spigot kind of looks like a sideways uh, Christmas ornament maybe. Um, then I'm gonna go down towards the bottom of my rectangle. I'm gonna go out, 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 curve down, okay? And then I'm gonna draw sort of like a, a pancake, a flattened pancake, so to connect these. Okay, so there's my little spigot. Um, just so you can start to visualize what's going on here, let's go ahead and draw a drop of water. So I'm gonna draw, bloop, drop of water, beautiful. Um, but now this spigot, um, like any spigot, needs to be able to turn on and off. So we're just going to draw a little handle to turn it on and off. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. A little rectangle like this. Okay, and then from your little rectangle, you're going to draw two lines up. Remember, this is a video. If this is going too fast for you, you're feeling a little frustrated or a little overwhelmed, pause the video, look at my drawing, and make your changes, whatever you want to do, and then come back. Okay, so to make my handle, I'm going to start out with a circle here. Just a little circle. Looks kind of weird now, but I promise you it's going to make sense. Okay, from the circle, I'm going to draw like a little wider of a pancake. And then on the other side, another little wide pancake. Okay, nice. Now this is a little handle I could grab and turn it on. Yay. Um, I'm going to draw a little glare symbol. Okay, nice. Okay, so imagining this is a spigot, water's coming out of it, and now we're going to draw our earth over here. The first thing that I want to add onto our earth today is a heart. Um, I chose to do this because BVSD is doing an art sort of uh, not competition, but a way to get us all connected through art. And the theme is heart. So if you make artwork with a heart in it or any sort of heart theme, then BVSD wants to see it. So if you add your heart to this, you can upload it and send it in to BVSD uh, as part of our like all staying connected through the heart, through art. Okay, so heart work. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna draw a heart. Okay. And then just for a little extra detail, I'm going to draw another little heart inside this heart. So 
bloop, there we go. Beautiful. Um, so now we have our earth with our heart. Um, let's add a little land to make it look a little more realistic. This doesn't have to be true. You don't have to actually trace a continent or anything like that. Let's just get creative, do some wiggles. Um, so I'm gonna do some squiggles over here for my land. I bet some of you do not like this because you like it to be precise. If you wanna do the precise continents where they are, go for it. I love that. Um, and then I'm gonna do some squiggles at the bottom. Okay. I'm just going to connect this. There we go. All right, and let's just do one more over here on the side to sort of frame it in. Okay, nice. That looks pretty good. Um, so the next thing I want to do is you're going to draw the hands going up. For some of you, this may be a good stopping place. Like you're like, that was hard. I feel good about my drawing and I want to stop and go ahead and color it. So if you want to do that, go ahead. If you want to keep following me, let's do it. So the first thing I'm going to draw is two arms. So I'm gonna go arm, arm, little skinny arm. I'm gonna go on the other side of my drop here and go arm, arm. Okay. Um, it's okay if they aren't even right now and you will see why. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is connect hands to the arms. So that looks a little funny, but if you can look at my hand, you can see how it goes out and I can see a little bloop for my thumb okay so it's kind of a strange angle to draw your hand at but that's what we're going to do so let's uh start by going out okay that's the outside of your hand and then we're just going to come back in just a little half line okay stop there go back to the other side of your arm and then go up a little bit and we're going to make a little thumb there okay so this looks like a mitten and I think that's okay. If you want to draw little fingers, then go for it. Um, I'm going to leave mine as mitten hands. Okay, so same thing on the other side. Let's start on this outside line. And we're going to go up and back down and stop. Okay. Now we're going to start on this inside line. Do the same thing. Go up and make your little thumb. Nice. It's lovely. So it's like the hands are taking the water and letting it go over them because we are taking resources or things that the earth gives us. Um, and this is a way of, I like this, like reaching up, like we're showing that we're really grateful and we're thankful for the things that the earth is giving us and the things that we give each other. Okay. So all these drops that come out of the earth, they're all the things that we take from the earth become the ocean. So what I want to do is we're going to draw an ocean down here. You can do that by just drawing a line to connect here, right? And then a line to connect here. Okay. I'm going to draw a couple more lines for waves. Okay, there we go. So this is really just be creative as you want to be right now. Um, let's do a couple little squigs over here. Okay. Okay, I think that looks like a pretty good ocean. It's a little uh, wavy because um, the drops are coming in. So now we're at a good place and we are ready to color our drawing. So um, go ahead and get your coloring materials ready. Uh, let's start out and let's color this uh, ocean part here. So get a good blue ready. Okay, so I would say don't ever do what I'm doing and paint in white pants, but you know, I like to say if your pants get paint on them, then they become paint pants, and then I love that. Okay, so I'm going to just use a dark blue or a royal sort of blue, and I'm just going to paint in my ocean. Okay, so however you want to paint yours in, or color it, or whatever you want to do. So I'm excited to see, um, especially if you're in my class, I'm excited to see your drawing. And I would love for you to upload it to our Google Classroom so that we can sort of compare them. Um, we do directed drawings, not a ton in class, but we've done a good amount this year. And I think we can probably all agree that, um, at least for me, the best part about doing a directed drawing is 
that we all get to listen to these same directions, but then our drawings all end up so different. And I think that's so cool. And I, it's also hilarious um, to see how some of us interpret directions differently, how some of our eyes see things differently. Um, and I think that that always brings us to a good point of just appreciating that we are all very different and that even when we're given directions for anything or when we even read something, we all are thinking about it differently based on what we know and who we are and what we have already experienced in our life. So if you can think back to winter when we all drew um, Olaf and you can remember my Olaf and Mr. Fink's Olaf and how different they were, that was pretty hilarious. All right. So as you go through your day to day, I really want to encourage you to take a minute to think about um, what's going really well with the earth. Like what are some things that you can be proud of that we're doing? Um, and what are some things that we know and we've talked about this year that we want to change? Um, we've talked a lot about Greta Thunberg this year and talked about how even though you are young and sometimes it can feel like scary or overwhelming, um, all the things going on with climate change, that even though you're young, you do have a voice. And I think that that's just a really super, super important thing to remember, um, especially in a time like this. And one way that you have a voice is by talking to other young people about these things, right? So I really encourage you to talk to other young people about things they care about, about the earth and climate change. And then also talk to trusted adults. Um, I know that as a teacher, I love to talk about it with kids and I love to answer questions, um, brainstorm new ideas. You all have the most amazing ideas. All right, so I'm just painting my land this green color. Remember that it's your art. You could paint it any color you want. Okay. Have a oh, missed a little blue spot. Look at that. Okay. I hope you all are going to find some time today in this beautiful day to maybe get outside for a minute. That would be really nice. And I'm excited to talk to you um, after our reading lesson we did today and just think about how much we have changed since 1970, since the first Earth Day. Okay, so I think we're looking pretty good. How are you all feeling over there? Just gonna fill in that little space I missed before. There we go. Okay. So now the next thing, let's color the heart. Um, you can use any color. I'm gonna do red and a purple, sort of red on the outside, purple on the inside, um, but it's really up to you. I bet that some of you can make really cool directed drawing videos like this that we could all follow too. So if this looks fun for you, um, guiding one of these, then I would love it if you wanted to plan one and we could all follow you. Um, so let me know. Message me on Google Hangout or Google Classroom and we will plan that out. Okay, so my heart looking pretty good. I got out of the lines a little bit, but you know what? I like it. Okay, so then I found this really cool silvery color that I'm going to do for the spigot. 
Um, you could do gray if you have a gray crayon or a gray colored pencil. Um, you can do any color you want. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do is gray um, because I'm wanting this to look like metal. You probably can't see from the video, but this is a really cool metallic, like shiny color that I like to use a lot when I'm painting anything that's supposed to look like metal. Okay, getting closer. If you all are doing anything else exciting for Earth Day, I would love to hear about that. Maybe you planted a little tree. Uh, I know a lot of my students are working in their gardens and creating gardens with their parents. I'm also starting a garden. Um, I have some kale I started and some sunflower seeds and some things like that. Um, so that's a nice way, especially now when we're all at home, um, to grow some of your own food and have that to eat. Um, and it's also just a fun thing to do in the summer. Okay, uh, next thing I'm going to do is color this little water droplet. I'm actually going to color it uh, turquoise, just because I like turquoise. Um, but you can color it any shade of blue. You could color it the same blue as the ocean and the earth. Nice. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the same color turquoise and I'm kind of going to go over these contour lines or these wavy lines we already did. I'm going to do that because I'm not going to paint my whole ocean in because it's huge. So I'm just going to add some color to these lines. Nice. So right now you could color your whole ocean blue. You could do what I'm doing and paint with your waves to just give it some color. Um, however you want to express your ocean. Okay, I think it's looking pretty good. Almost finished up with the ocean. So if you're in another grade, um, not fifth grade, and you're doing this, then can you have your parents um, email me your paintings? if you want to um, so that I can see them all and I can put them all together in a Google slide just so we can feel even more connected in this and kind of share our artwork together. That is only if you feel comfortable doing it. If you don't, keep it for yourself, frame it, mail it to your grandma, whatever you want to do. Okay, almost done. I love it. This looks so good. Okay. Um, next thing we're going to do is color our hands. I didn't really have a good color that I wanted for that um, between, I, I only had a couple colors and I didn't have a lot of time to mix, so I'm just going to go straight orange. Um, I'm going to do orange. This is sort of a bright painting anyway. Um, but you can choose any color you want for your hands. You could make them tie-dye. You could make them look like the color of your skin you could do them just black really up to you i like the bright orange though it's nice and goes along with the theme of the drawing which is bright and poppy and colorful okay
beautiful. I love it. Good job, guys. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Um, so I'm going to stop here. Here's some ideas. So you have this amazing painting that you just made. You could add like Happy Earth Day or Earth Day 2020, or you could look up some cool slogans for Earth Day. Um, I know I've seen a lot of good ones. Um, you can look on uh, different websites. There's earthday.com or earthday.org actually, and it's all about Earth Day 2020. So you could look up some slogans on there. Um, one thing you could do, you could draw a sun if you want to. You could draw more hearts just out in the air. So it's up to you. I can't wait to see them. Thank you for joining me. This was so fun. Um, if you want to lead your own directed drawing, please reach out to me and I will schedule that for you. And we can connect again like this. All right, happy Earth Day, guys. Bye.